Now, the issue of social distance in the public transport industry still remains a worry, traveling only during daytime due to the curfew, congestion in transport termini and transport fare, among others, are some of the issues that we also need to tackle. So, Kevin Owino called up the chair of the Matatu Owners Association, Simon Kimutai, who began with this assurance to parents and students. We've been out of business for a very long time, and we will be glad to have to transport students from their, from one destination to the other. And uh, we have enough, and we just want to assure students that uh, there is enough transport that will take them right to school. And uh, one thing that we are very careful about is that we are still observing the uh, protocols that were introduced by the Ministry of Health and Transport, and that will make sure that students um, are safe in terms of, um, you know, travel and uh, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, making sure that the protocols are observed. And for, 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 for numbers of students, we have enough units. The country had grown to a place where we were able to provide efficient transport and uh, reliable to all those who are traveling. Now, for students, make sure that uh, um, they get to their uh, various destinations, that schools safely and uh, um, sound, yes. Right. Could you also speak to us about uh, the fares? Do you intend to hike the fares now because of the bigger number of travelers, the students? What's your plan on the fares? What we have done is that uh, we have sensitized our members uh, not to, you know, um, if there is any hike, it has to be reasonable. You know, in business doing, there is the market forces that dictates prices of commodities and services. So um, there could be, there could not be. You know, from the time uh, uh, protocols were brought to place, our businesses were reduced by over close to 50%. So this made our uh, revenues dwindle. And uh, we will try as much as we can to ensure that they are maintained, or if there is an increase, they are increased reasonably because all students must travel to their destinations. And, uh, you know, one thing is that we look at always is that at times when, when there is a movement, it favors one side. Coming back becomes a challenge. But all in all is that uh, there, uh, there is no cause for alarm. We, we, we will be able to, to do what is required because we understand we are human beings despite the fact that we are business people who already are making losses. We will try to endure the same. All right. The final one, quickly. You and I, Mr. Kimutai, are aware that traveling have been restricted to only daytime. Because of the number of uh, passengers who will be traveling, how do you intend to manage the congestion in bus terminal and um, also to make sure that you transport the children back to school in time? Um, you know, what has happened is that uh, people themselves have uh, kind of... Uh, uh, you know, taking a back seat in movement because of the advice that was there and the fear that has been created about COVID. Very many people travel when it is necessary. Just like the students, they have to go to school. Unless, you know, earlier on, people used to travel to visit, people used to travel to shop, people used to travel to, you know, to do all sorts of things. But nowadays, you'll find that uh, our roads are not as congested as before. People are still living in fear. So there are a lot of vehicles which are idle. And uh, despite the fact that there are restrictions on uh, there are restrictions on the number of passengers, the capacity uh, um, reduced, and uh, you'll find that people might think that uh, there are very many people traveling. No, it's because of the capacity that was used. But all in all, um, every 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 route that anybody takes has um, has space for people to travel, and. Uh, we will we will make arrangements for students who probably could be we'll even ask national transport and safety authority if there is a challenge because of the capacity they allow vehicles doing um uh town service to be able to offer that uh, that service to uh areas where there are challenges in terms of uh number of vehicles because of uh, uh, the reduction of uh, uh, capacity or passengers in a vehicle. So we'll do all we can to make sure that students arrive safely and alive in, in, in their various destinations and we'll make sure that there are enough vehicles to take them to school. We understand about students and 
they are our children. Well, that is Simon Kimutai, who's the chair of the Matatu Owners Association.